What's up everyone, Karu here from my Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we're gonna take a look at an unreleased racket. Uh, it's the new Head Radical Graphene 360 Plus, the MP version, not the Pro version. Uh, I'll get my hands on that later on. This racket will be released in December alongside the Pro. And it is a fantastic racket. I've been hitting with it for a few days now. And even though it's the MP version, it's very light. Um, it feels really, really good. It feels really stable. And I'm really excited actually to get my hands on the Pro version because I, I assume that it's going to be a very good racket as well. But I think this MP version is going to um, reach a really big audience. I think a lot of people can play with this racket. I think a lot of players are going to benefit from playing with this racket. They're going to feel comfortable with it. Um, so I'm just going to give you some of my quick thoughts on it. Uh, this is not really a full review, but you know I've hit with it enough to to really get to know the racket, um, and I and I hope you guys are excited for this release. I'm excited to see what the cosmetic cosmetic looks like. This is not the the final paint job, uh, so I want I want to see. I actually wish it was the final paint job because I think it looks dope like this. Uh, but excited to to see how how it will actually look like when it comes out. Uh, but here are some of my thoughts on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. It really helps us put out better content for you. This way we can actually get our hands on, you know, unreleased rackets and things like that. Uh, so we really appreciate that. And we also, as you know, we partner up with Tennis Warehouse. So any, if you purchase anything with the link below, um, we do get a small commission and no fee for you, but it does help the channel. So uh, if you're gonna buy something from Tennis Warehouse, please use our link um, and let's get to the video. Okay, so for ground strokes, I was really pleasantly surprised with how well this racket performed. I was getting enough plow through, even though this racket is fairly light. Um, I was re I was really felt accurate out there. I was moving the ball around the court, didn't have any problems guiding them, accelerating it, um, hitting with flatter, with more top spin. It really felt accurate, and at contact, it really it had that good balance between not being too muted. Uh, where you don't really feel if you're hitting the ball clean or not, uh, but also not like too stiff that you're feeling you're feeling every vibration and it just kind of hurt hurts your arm a little bit or hand. So just overall for those three categories, when I'm hitting with with a racket, that's where I look for, and it, it it was really really good. And on top of that, and what I think is this racket party piece is that because it's so well proportioned, it's a great frame for anyone to pick up and actually customize it a little bit to their own liking. So if you want something a little bit head, head heavier, uh, you can do that. If you want something a little grip heavier, you can do that. Um, and I think it, because of that, it will you know, have a really big reach uh, with consumers. I think if you're a player who, who likes you know, hitting flat, good racket. If you're a player who likes to serve and volley, good racket. If, it's, if you're a player who likes to rip forehand, slice backhands, it's a good racket. Great for one-hander. So I think it is a really, really good uh, frame for, for that, for you to pick it up and make it your own. So I, I don't know how many, rack, many rackets that are in the market that you're able to do that. Maybe like I think the Wilson Blade is a good one for this, but besides that, that's, there's, there's not that many. And I think this is a very, very uh, solid option for many players. So I think this is going to be a successful racket for, for a head. For serving, the racket felt pretty good. I mean, it wasn't the best racket for serving uh, that I've hit with in recent months, but overall I was able to hit my good, good flat serves, good slice serves, and good kick serves. Um, the only thing is I wasn't getting enough pop uh, compared to my E-Zone or even my, my older speed, but that's just because of weight. Um, I don't think it was because of anything beyond that. Uh, so, you know, if you add a little bit of weight to it, I, I'm, I'm sure it would solve those issues. But um, overall, for, for, a, you know, for most players, again, I try to always make these reviews for uh, not players at my level, but players at, at most levels. And I think most uh, players will actually enjoy this racket for serving feel stable. Um, it's accurate, very accurate. So that's something if you're looking for a, an accurate racket, I think that's a, a, a good option for you. And overall, pretty good racket uh, for serving. I don't think uh, you're gonna have any problems with it. And the last thing, the racket really performed well uh, in shots that require a lot of feel, volleys, slices, uh, you know, pickups, everything, drop shots, everything that requires feel, I actually felt so good with this racket. I mean, it does give you that old school 
um, you know, driving the ball, crashing to the net field. So I think a lot of players who like playing doubles, uh, who like serving and volleying, um, just who like to be aggressive maybe with the slice and come in, I think you're really going to like this rack. And I, I do think for players who might be a little bit tired of like the prestige field, they want something like the prestige, but um, maybe just a touch more comfortable, I think this is going to be a great racket. So uh, definitely if you're the kind of player who uses a lot of feel in, in during during matches, I think you're really going to, to like this. So there you have it. This was just a quick first look on the unreleased new Head Radical Graphene 360 Plus MP. I think this is a great racket and I feel like Head is going to reach a big, big audience with this frame because it does fit a lot of game styles. You can play very aggressive, I think you're going to enjoy it. You can be a servant volleyer, volleyer and I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, you can just be a baseliner, I think you're going to like this racket. So overall, I'm really satisfied with this racket and I think a lot of people will be too. Um, and if you're, you know, maybe thinking about upgrading to this, this radical lineup, I definitely recommend you uh, picking one up and trying it out once it comes out. And I'm really curious to see what the final paint job will be. Um, I'm betting that will be something like the Extreme, where it has the gray and, and orange kind of intertwined there in the racket. Um, I really like that the color of the Extreme, so I hope it's something like that, even though I do love it the way it is right now, all gray. Um, but let us know in the comments below what do you think uh, the color will be. Do you think it will be just normal, typical, radical, all orange racket or they'll be a little more fancy with it? And visit mytennisishu.com. We have a new article pretty much every day there, so make sure you check it out. Follow us on social media at mytennishq on Instagram, at mytennishq underscore on Twitter. And let us know in the comments below if you're planning to upgrade to this radical lineup. Uh, maybe, the, maybe you're waiting on the Pro or you really want the MP. I'm excited to get my hands on the Pro, so uh, whenever I get that, I'll make sure to, to make a video about it. And make sure you keep subscribing to the channel, it really helps us. And I'll see you guys on the next one.